Hello, detectives at heart. Welcome back to Keefe Private Investigations, where we bring to you the most jaw-dropping crime stories. I'm Michaela, and today, we are going to let a child abduction private investigator and kidnapping private detective share insights into the kidnapping and raping of teen girl Elizabeth Ann Smart by pedophile Brian Mitchell. If you want quality private investigation services in Oklahoma, Call Keefe at 405-435-8355. Before we go into details, remember to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell for subsequent updates. We hear so many stories of kidnapping, abduction, and sometimes rape of these victims, but nothing quite prepares us for each of these individuals. Elizabeth Ann Smart was taken in June 2002 from her Salt Lake City home. She was held captive for nine months by her captor. This case shows the sexual abuse and kidnapping that still goes on in our societies till now. Born on September 18, 1973, Brian Mitchell was born in the United States in a small town. How he grew up and his personal information is not well known to the public. His crimes focused on sexual abuse and exploitation of children. Brian Mitchell does not look like the crimes he committed. Elizabeth did not know that the 5th of June 2002 will be a day she will not forget in a hurry for all the wrong reasons. Brian Mitchell, a prophet, and his wife Wanda Barzi kidnapped her from her home. Brian Mitchell was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, which made him believe that God asked him to marry his wife Wanda and also kidnap Elizabeth Smart. Child abduction private investigators explained that this period of kidnapping and captivity was hell for Elizabeth Smart because she was sexually abused, malnourished, and not taken care of. Elizabeth Ann Smart was in captivity for nine months by pedophile Brian Mitchell. The period of captivity was terrible and hellish for Smart because she was subjected to emotional, physical, and sexual abuse. Mitchell forced Elizabeth to take on a new name, Abinamakitis. She was also repeatedly raped during this period. The investigation into the case began immediately after she was abducted. A $1 million ransom was placed for her safe return, but nothing happened. On the 12th of March, 2003, Elizabeth Smart's whereabouts were discovered, and she was rescued by law enforcement agencies based on a person's tip. Her rescue led to Mitchell and Barzi's arrest. Brian David Mitchell and Wanda Barzi were both convicted for the kidnapping and rape of Elizabeth Ann Smart. They were charged with multiple counts of rape, kidnapping, and aggravated sexual assault. The court sentenced Mitchell to life imprisonment without a possibility of parole and Barzi was sentenced to 15 years in prison. One can say that justice was served. The aftermath of Elizabeth Ann Smart's kidnapping had a significant impact on her and her family. We have seen Elizabeth become an advocate for missing persons and victims of crime. Through her help, she has been able to provide support and help to people in similar situations. Kidnapping and raping of individuals still happen in our societies today, and it is left to everyone in the society to join hands together to prevent it from continuing. The impact Elizabeth Smart's case had on society is that it helped people see the need to join efforts to ensure that society is safe for everyone. At Keefe Private Investigations, we help carry out investigations that will lead to justice and seek help for those who need it. For more insights or our services, visit us at privateinvestigatorokc.com or reach out at Michaela at the rate ojpslegal.com. So that you do not miss our future posts, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until we come your way next time, stay alert and be careful.